I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? <laughs> Oli kolmis sormis mai, oli reikä rauta brown. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willy Town. Olemme täällä taas. Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in! You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Kalastustehto. There she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. Kissakala. The great tyrant. Uh -huh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. Uh -huh. Look who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of you. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. Spent years working on that, finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer, making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Whoa, what's this? You got something? Uh, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on now, Tyron, I got you. I got you. Come on. Jalka. Jalka on mukana. You lost anything? It's just my rod. We got my toes too. They weren't wooden. <laughs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. 
when you bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Just a bit faster now. Let him! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Start reeling. Stand steady. I think we found him. Cast again. You can speed that up a little. Hey, hey, that hook. Uh, come on, come on. Now uh, uh, here we go. Pane kertaa jo tulee mä. Se aika mokea mörkö kyllä. Vinnettä on täynnä vettä. That is if you're sure you don't want them. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. Uh-huh. I may. Evening. You do not belong here. We have nothing for you. Sound very well. I'm not. I'm Kuola, my sire. I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lacked the grandeur of a conventional king. 
I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh -huh. uh, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling Early on the reservation's land. No. I suppose this much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll huh. continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. other too well but I wanted to speak to you about your son are you okay mr. Morgan I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and uh, 
Well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. Let's keep moving. I want you to see this place. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. looking for English mace okay let's continue on you know I had a son once oh. years ago don't talk about him much no oh, what was his name Isaac his mother Eliza was a waitress I met uh -huh, history yeah Thing before you rode off when she got pregnant she, she knew who I was what my life was I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep but I said I'd do right by them every few months I'd stop by there for a few days he was such a good kid she was too I guess <laughs> just a kid 19 what happened I got there one day and Saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Huh. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Huh? Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So back to what you were saying. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right.
appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor, and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They've destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who... Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The was gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. May want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. Rauhan piippu. Not if I get it back. Get it back. Look upon the hinkina. Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. Yeah. I uh, don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please. You said you were going to look for the Chinumpa. Melkoista maastoa kyllä. Reservaatille.
like beast enough to tell me. Exactly. That's the problem. Monroe went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. Just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? Näyttää tappaa, mistä lähtee honoria. Vaan keksiä täällä. Kaikki hyvät aineet on juotu. Se on tossa.
Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? <laughs> yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. <laughs> 